Captain Coder here, and in this guide, we will explore how to take advantage of Unity's 2D physics system in our projects to move game objects in a scene. This is the third video in our 2D platformer project, and if you missed the previous videos, you can find a link to them in the description below, or you can hop right in using the provided Unity package. And if you'd like to be notified when the next video is out, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Before we hop in, I want to remind you that you can ask your questions, share your projects, and join Captain Coder's Academy on Discord, or catch me live at captaincoder.live, where I create fun projects like this, chat with the crew, and sing you silly songs. All right, let's hop in. Now that we are able to draw a scene using our tile palette and tile maps, we want to make it so our player will actually interact with these platforms in a meaningful way. If we run our program right now, if we run our game, we will see that the script we wrote before just has the player moving left and right on the screen, adjusting its transform. It doesn't actually land on the platform, it moves right through it. What we would like to do is make it so that our player will interact with Unity's physics system and use that to our advantage so we don't have to write the whole physics system ourselves. To do this, we're gonna add a rigid body to the player. So let's select our player. We're gonna click Add Component in the Inspector, and we're gonna add in a rigid body 2D. Be sure to add a rigid body 2D. The rigid body is for doing 3D games. Let's go ahead and do rigid body 2D. This will do our 2D physics. And now, by default, the default settings here when we run it, we're going to have our rigid body, our player here, affected by gravity. It'll just start falling. If we watch this Y here, you'll notice the Y starts going down immediately. And that's because gravity's pulling our player object down. What we'd like to do next is make it so that there is something for the player to land on. We can do this with colliders. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna add in a collider to our player so that the player can collide with things. And so we're gonna come in here, we're gonna add a component, collider 2D. We're gonna add a box collider 2D. And this will actually, if we zoom in here, there's this square that appears around this. We have a box collider 3 we can click edit, and you'll see that we actually have a, a cube, not a cube, a square that's around our player. By default, Unity tries to wrap whatever you have in a good way. And so when we do a box layer, it actually wraps it perfectly because we're using a square. Then we need something for the player to collide with. We can do this on our platform's tile map. It turns out there is a tile map collider 2D that we can put on our platforms. And now our platforms have collision our player will collide with them let's take our player i'm gonna move my player up here so we can move it up and we'll watch the player fall and land on this platform and there we go our player will now land on the platform if we come off the platform we start rotating oh no we don't want our player to rotate maybe you do i don't want my player to rotate so i can actually constrain it say hey in this game i don't want rotation on this rigid body so we're gonna come over to our rigid body here and there is a constraint. So I selected my player, go to in the inspector, scroll down to our rigid body. I'm gonna collapse some of these other things that I'm not using right now. In my rigid body I have constraints. I'm gonna freeze the Y, sorry, the Z rotation. Freeze the Z rotation. This will prevent our object from rotating. Let's check that out. So now when I come over to the edge here, I will just stay right on it. Right there, I come to the edge, and sure enough, I don't fall off until I get past the edge, and there I go down into the abyss. All right, now it is your turn to go ahead and add in a rigid body and the colliders for all of your platforms. If all went well, your player is now gliding smoothly across the top of your platforms. However, you may have noticed when you crash into a wall, your player starts bouncing off the wall. That's probably not what you want. And so to demonstrate this, I'm gonna go ahead and paint a wall here to prevent my player. I'm gonna be careful that I'm on my platforms layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a wall for my player to run into to demonstrate this. So if I run this, 
Now my player, you notice my players real jaggedy are bouncing on and off this wall. This is because we are forcing the player's position to update its transform. In the player movement controller that we wrote, we explicitly say, hey, this is gonna be your position. And so it's fighting Unity's physics system. Whenever you're using Unity's physics system, you want to move your objects using their rigid body. So that way, when they collide with something, it'll detect before it moves into that position to prevent them from going there. We're gonna update our scripts now to do that. First, we're gonna come to our player movement controller. We need to get access to the rigid body that's attached to our player movement controller. We can do this using get component. Notice we have the rigid body 2D here. This is attached to the same object as our player movement controller. And we are going to go ahead and use get component to access it. It's a rigid body 2D rigid body and I'm going to assign it the equals here is the assignment operator to get component rigid body 2d like so so we're going to pull that out we're going to access it and rather than adjusting the transform we're going to ask the rigid body to adjust its velocity so rigid body I did rigid body here let me fix that here rigid body not a rigid body rigid body dot velocity we want to create a new velocity here we need to assign it here and it's going to be a new vector 2 since we're in 2d we have a vector 2 here and so the left side is our x and the right side is our y velocity what should our x velocity be this is going to be our player's input, the horizontal input here. So it's going to be left, right. I'm going to set the velocity this way. And then we want to scale it by our speed. So left, right times speed. And do we want our Y velocity to be zero? No, we don't want our Y velocity to change at all. So we're actually going to take our rigid body dot velocity dot Y. And we just save that value. We pass it through to the new velocity. So this is gonna change our rigid body's velocity and now it will interact nicely with our physics system. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm gonna come back to Unity. It's going to compile. And then when I run it, if all went well, we won't be bouncing off the wall like we were before. Our player falls, we run into the wall and notice that jagged bounce is gone. All right. Now it's your turn. Go ahead, update your player movement controller to use the rigid body's velocity so that we are interacting with Unity's physics system. If all has gone well, your player is now moving smoothly using Unity's 2D physics engine. Awesome. Right now we can only move left and right. In future videos, we're gonna add additional controllers to control our player's movement for jumping, maybe climbing walls, other things like that. But I want to challenge you now. Can you create a new scene? Can you create a new player controller for that scene in which you have an object that uses Unity's 2D physics system that controls both the horizontal and vertical axis? I want to know. Give it a shot, and when you get it working, or if you have questions, post on Discord at Captain Coders Academy, and we'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this guide helpful, and I'm dying to hear from you. Let me know how things went by leaving a comment below or sharing at Captain Coders Academy. And if you would like to be notified when the next video is out, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. As always, keep coding, keep growing, be the best you you can be, and you are welcome back anytime. Bye bye